This is. Thank you. <laughs> oh, bye. Yes? Seeing what is inside them and creating hopefully a decent, good, kind of good piece of artwork. I hope, I don't know. Hey! Hmm. That didn't go well. What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is courtesy of one of my followers on Twitter who sent me a link to a collection of pens I've never heard of before. Now apparently these pens are really good but one thing I did not expect was the packaging. This is ridiculous. <laughs> This thing is ridiculously big, but you get 96 pens inside this collection. Now this collection came in at a price tag of $200, which is actually really, really good value for money. These are super cheap for alcohol markers, and yet you get 96, I mean, I've never heard of this, what is it? Graf, what does that say? Grafitzes? Gravitz. Twin tip alcohol based markers with, whoa, 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 hold up. It comes with the display. What? Really? I didn't, well, what was gonna be in this box? I mean, there's 96, that's, that's bleh, 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 bleh. Making these videos is just, whew. <laughs> well, it is time to crack this thing open, see what we've got inside this, and hopefully create a masterpiece of artwork using what is inside this thing. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Wow, it comes with a cake. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I gotta start. <laughs> okay, so it is time to start unboxing this thing, and. Yeah, it's pretty big. I, I mean, this is taking up so much space here. I've even got my legs of the tripod thing in frame, which, um. Sorry, but yeah, th there's so much going on here and something that is pretty cool about these pens. Look at this. They got fine liners. The box is... Eh, not much on the other side, but let's open it up. Ooh, ooh. It's nice. Uh oh, no. <sighs> I don't know how I'm gonna... I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> it's too big! This is insane! Wow! I'm so excited for this. Whoa! Whoa, 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 hold up! Go away. Whoops. And yeah, it's doing Ah! Oh, what is this? What is that? Is that salt? What? It's everywhere. Get away! Okay, seriously, there's like salt everywhere. I, I, why is there salt on these pens? I, oh, they look nice though. Okay, so here are the Graffitis, still don't know how to say the name, pens. Uh, I would stand them up, but I can't, so yeah. They don't, are they in order? I think so. They look pretty nice, actually. They look really cool. I really want to see, like... I, I like being annoying. Let's have a look at the nibs. Ah, actually, uh, let's get a sheet of paper. Yeah, and see what they're like. Yeah. Stop! Okay, so here's a bunch of these pens, and they are a lot bigger than I expected. I mean, they really look at them. Focus. Now, look at the size of this thing. It is chunky. Woo! Uh, the fine liner. There you go. The fine liner looks cool. The only problem I got with it is when do I need a red fine liner? I mean, this is just there. I can't go. It's an alcohol fine liner. I've never seen one of these before, so that's cool. Okay, I didn't expect that. That looks really, really cool. I'm gonna try it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, the color is a lot darker than the cap, but that is so smooth. Whoa, this feels, wait a second. 
You wait right there. I need a red. Okay, so this is a pro brush marker. This is the thing that I use the most and I love. Uh, I want to just... Mm, I think these are better. Yeah, these feel smoother. Woohoo! It feels a little scratchy, but it's an alcohol fine liner. That's awesome. Whoa, that's a lot darker than I expected. They blend. <laughs> they stink! There is a lot of alcohol in these things. The black nib. There's a hair. No, I don't like the way they feel. Oh, that is just, that is a, these are nice. I'm gonna use them now. Let's go. Okay, so for the first test, and yes, I am gonna be doing two tests during this video, but for the first one, I've decided to choose my favorite character of all time, and this is gonna be a great opportunity to test out the blue palette, as I'll be doing Sonic the Hedgehog. Specifically, the Sonic Mania design, which is one of my favorite character designs of all time. It is so fun and just so yeah that I just have to do it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Wait! Okay, I was gonna be inking it using this thing, my normal fine liner thing, but I've decided, yeah, we have these. These things have the fine liners on the end, so we may as well make the most of them. So uh, let's see how it goes. It kind of just dries instantly. I, I gotta say, this is really enjoyable. This is not serious. These are really, really good. Mm. I'm making a couple of mistakes, like in sort of line variations. I'm not sure if that's the pens. I don't really make mistakes like this normally. So I don't know if it's the pens or if it's just me. But they do feel really good. Oh yeah, you can color in. It's so weird, you can can like already rub the areas you've inked. It doesn't smudge. That's I'm not used to. I'm I can lean on this. It's that's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, so that was an experience and a really good experience at that. It's very rare that I ever try anything for the first time and truly love it. But this pen right here, the fine liner is just incredible. I've never used anything quite like that before, and I really enjoyed it. I would dare say this pen alone is worth the price of the entire pack. It is great, but uh, it is time to get on with coloring it. So let's see if the rest of them can match up to that fine liner. Wow. No fading, no smudging, just erasing. Impressive. So before we get started with the coloring, let's have a quick look at the colors we've got, the blues that we've got, and see if we can pick out the right one. Ooh, that's a really nice color. Oh yeah, there's our Sonic the Hedgehog color, but let's just see this last one we've got. Ooh, and there's our shadows. So as we can see here, we've got a few good colors here. We've got some pale blue, but these two colors here seem a bit more turquoisey. They've got a bit more green in them, but these two are absolutely perfect. They're stunning. The colors are so bright and vibrant. This is really nice. So I think for this one, we're just gonna focus on just doing the block colors for now, and I'll maybe implement a little bit of shading, but maybe we'll do it for the second part. So for this part, we'll just focus on those colors and just see how they look together. The main thing I wanna know is if they bleed the fine liner. That will be interesting, and hopefully it doesn't. Really not much. Something I am noticing is this ink flow. The ink flow is super just lovely. It is not too fast, and it is not too slow. It is basically, for my movement, the stroking that I'm doing, it is actually perfect. It is matching my strokes perfectly and working out super nicely. So I'm not getting much streakiness. Um, there are a couple of areas of layering. This is just a single layer, you know, I haven't done a double layer, which usually I'd recommend doing with alcohol markers. That's a single layer and it's, it's going well. That took me a minute and a half and I just covered that area. It's a very small drawing, of course, but I mean, it's so easy to use. So let's see if we can find ourselves a skin tone. I gotta say, there is plenty of skin tones in this pack. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so I didn't pick out all the skin tones because there's just so many in this pack. But um, I've chosen a, a couple and we'll just see what happens. I think we've got the perfect one already. <laughs> I'm going to put you to the side. That one is pretty good as well. I'm going to put you to the side. This is insane. Like every color is perfect. Uh, this would actually work well as a shadow tone for this one. Put you to the side. Okay, that that is a lot darker than the sticky this thing. You see that? You give that a couple of seconds and it just sort of fades out. Look at that one. It faded out as well. Okay, this is... Wow. I think we'll use the red we just used. It's... Nah, that's a bit dark. Perfect. Red. Red, 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 red shoes. That is pretty nice. That is a single layer of color across the entire piece. What I'm going to do right here, because I really want to see what the pigmentation is like. I'm going to double layer this entire thing and see what happens. Well, i got to say... Visually, without the camera, I'm looking at this and I can see a major difference in the tone. Things look a lot more even, a little bit more clearer. I do like the way the colors are with a double layer. What you see on the camera may be a little bit different. I know that camera's a little bit more sensitive to changes in tones and stuff. I don't know, but right, visually, it looks <laughs> really... This is These are incredible. I love these pens. I've said it. I love these pens. But let's try something a little more demanding. Spider-Man. Okay, so Spider-Man. Now, I did a Google image to find this image of Spider-Man. I think it looks pretty good, and it's going to serve for a great basis moving forward. Now, the drawing, much like the Sonic the Hedgehog one, isn't supposed to be really accurate. This is just to have something on the paper that we can work with going forward. I'm also using the black fine liner that comes with the markers to do the outlines, because why not? It's there. We might as well use it. And with that all being said, Spider-Man, let's color. So with Spider-Man Ink, it's a very quick drawing, but I am going to do this a little bit different to the way we just did Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm going to add a little bit more detail to this one in the way that I approach the blending. So let's see how this goes. If this brown blends in, this is going to be really beautiful. So far, so good. Dude, I freaking love these. This is so... Good. I mean, this is coming out good. <laughs> I'm really, honestly, I'm not even taking my time. Like, I am rushing through this really top speed, and it's just blending so easily. It's it's not difficult. These pens are just good. Yeah. So I'm going to try using black here, and uh, I'm not too sure if it's going to blend into them. So I'm probably just going to do some hard shadows here. Let's see if we can blend it a little bit. Okay, so the coloring is done, and again, I rushed the coloring. I really did this super quick. I think this took me around 15 minutes, so this is a really quick drawing, but I just wanted to get a feel for these pens and just really see what they are like, just, just to feel them out, you know? And I am really surprised. So we're going to jump into doing the webbing now. And this is what I'm most nervous about. Usually I would use another fine liner. This is quite thick. I'm not too sure how this is going to work, but we'll give it a go and we'll see if it works. Hopefully it doesn't bleed into these markers. It may do, but let's see. I've never been so nervous doing this. Oh gosh. Okay, so far this is this is this is amazing. This look at this. This is no different to using a fine liner. It's just wow. Well everyone, here we have it. Here are the two drawings using the Graffitis markers today. I believe that's how you say the name, but I really don't know. What do you think about these drawings and the results using the markers today? Do you like them? Leave your comments down below, let me know your thoughts. And obviously, right here, we have two examples of what these markers can do. On the left-hand side, we have our Sonic the Hedgehog drawing, which was done using just a standard block color pattern. But it was a great showcase of the pigmentation that these colors have, which are really, really good. But the biggest surprise came from those fine liners. I think the black fine liner is absolutely amazing, and it really worked out super well here. But these markers aren't just capable of doing the basics. 
Having a look over at our Spider-Man piece today, this one came out really good. And all things considered, I should say, this drawing took me around 20 minutes. This was a very quick drawing to do. I want to preface that right now because I didn't want to spend too much time on this and try to make it really, really good. The point of this was to get a feel for these markers and to see what they're capable of. And boy, are they good. In such a short amount of time, we were able to really figure out these markers are real contenders. I mean, dare I say, they are one of the best markers I have ever used. That's just my personal opinion, but other than that, these markers are absolutely fantastic. I would 100% recommend them. At $200 for 96 pens, that's a pretty good deal. Well, there we have it, everyone. The video is complete, and these things are insane. I absolutely love these. I did not expect them to be as good as they are, and I really do think they're amazing. So if you want my recommendations on some markers to get, these are pretty damn near perfect, and I would recommend them. Now, that is unfortunately all we have time for today, but if you would like to see me create some serious artwork using these markers, then please leave your comments down below. Let me know. And of course, if you didn't... Of course, if you did enjoy today's video, then a like rating on the video is always appreciated. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day. My name has been ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob. And we look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Fluff. Fly away.